<laughs> he looks. Oh, okay, no, he's good. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> oh, his tires are just spinning. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? And then I saw his tires were spinning. Jesus! What's, what's that guy doing? No. Coming out of his garage? I'm doing just fine. Coming out of my garage, <laughs> and I'm doing just fine. <laughs> What's up, Nathan? Bryce? Brandt? How's it going, guys? Oh, hey, Sarah. So good of you to watch this episode, too. Thanks for all the comments. Tell, tell them where we are. I like how it's just we're in, yeah, we're just in a it. strange location that you've never seen before. <laughs> but, Which uh, doesn't happen a lot. A lot of our vlogs start in the apartment. Yeah, and we're nowhere near our apartment. This is our good friend, Jesse Lynch, Hi. from Alistair Hennessy. Here's a little bit of the music video, right here. Yeah, yeah! Get out of here. This is a nice looking place here. Hey, thanks. Yeah. What am I doing? You made this Dog. yourself, right? Yeah, yeah, I made No, really? I have a cat. What does it look like when you got it? Um, like this. Yeah, no, it was it was just like an 70s Airstream. It looked decent, but it was like moldy, and so I just gutted it. Changed a bunch of stuff. How much time did you put into this? Like six months. Six months with like two months off. One month for tour, one month for cold. Well, that's Minnesota for you. Yeah. But then I got a propane heater with like one of those little sunflower things. The furnace in here doesn't work. And it was warm enough that I could I could still work on it. Show us the amenities you got in this in this small thing. Uh, you got uh, a little mini fridge? Yeah, I don't is that an amenity? I got a little fridge. Uh, I got a TV. I got a DV I got an Apple TV. I got a induction top heater. This is pretty cool. My only internet is uh, is my phone, but I have like unlimited everything, so it's cool. I can watch TV and stuff. Sony batteries? Yeah, these are for my camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you shoot on uh you're an A7 S2 or R2? R2. How you how you feel about it? It's amazing. And now you can whip around and check the foyer. Oh yeah. Lounge. I didn't, I didn't see that. What is it? The 95A. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in person. Oh, yeah, that was my grandpa's camera. That's really nice. Yeah. That's large format. I'm thinking that's bordering on, like, was that 4x5? I made this. Just a great turn into a shoe wrap with, like, big, huge boots on it. These are so, the biggest boots of all time. Like, you make most of the stuff in here, then? Yeah, I made this table out of, like, an old desk. Upcycling? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't make these chairs. Pardon this. My, don't show that. My cat, my cat that one. Just blur it out. <laughs> Mosaic. <laughs> you had a really nice blend of like old and rustic, but also like nice and fancy and new. It's gotta work. This is maybe interesting. I don't know. It's probably only interesting to me. But I, all of my water is with like I have a jug. Oh, we got the electric pump. I have a clean water jug and a, a gray water jug. A gray water jug. That's what it's called. So then I just turn the switch on and then it pumps water. And then it goes into the gray water thing and then I just dump that. Like how often? Like I can get by with like five gallons in like a week. Is that bad? No, not bad at all. And then I got my bedroom, which is pretty cool. There's a TV in it with also another Apple TV because I'm just just falling out of control. A little sound bar in there. Mm -hmm. Here, I can... Yeah, give that a little... That's, this is... That's the thing. It was really tiny. I bought it specifically because, uh, like, a lot of bands have a big budget and they'll film, they want to do a video like in their basement. Mm -hmm. This will make it look like not a cramped space. Uh, I have a 12 to 24. So my, uh, so that laundromat shoot I did change my life. Dude, that was like the first shoot that I did where I was like, oh, I'm kind of good at this. Neat. Yeah, this is a 12 to 24, but I almost never use it. It's like for real estate ish type stuff. Well, we got a. Uh, yeah, one bar battery left. If you're gonna get another interview in, we should cut it. But yeah, yeah this is. We should find some place to charge it. Jesse Lynch's Airstream. Yeah. What's up, Eric? How you doing? Taking a good pics lately? I'll watch your Instagram. Now we're getting too personal with the intro. <laughs> Yo, Woody, how's that car running? You bring it in yet? With that head gasket problem? Tell your mom I said hi. Mm -hmm. Welcome to my ASMR. 
ASMR. <laughs> we are now an ASMR channel. I love OJ. Ah, my tattoo's itchy. What's up, Diamond Club? So, me, if you watch the mini sods, thanks for watching the mini sods. So, uh, Wimble Scoot doesn't run too well. Runs for a little bit. Dies out. There was a guy I saw on Craigslist a while ago. He had a couple scoots for sale. And I called him. He says, What do you need parts for? I got 20 plus scoots out here. And I was like, How many scoots? Oh. And I was seeing if he had any parts for my elite, the purple boy, except Ben's LUT makes it blue. Uh, the one I'm always wheeling. The 90s Honda. The 90s Honda. He asked me if he had parts for that. He said, oh, I got a couple. They're kind of hard to come by. I called him recently. He said, hey, I got SB50. Not running too well. I was wondering if you could take a look at it. But before he said anything else, he just listed me off all the things I should check that are like commonly wrong. Things I haven't checked out yet, like the pet cock, which makes a lot of sense. Are we censoring pet cock? Just put roosters on leashes every time I say pet cock. Too much effort. We, this is Sunday night. Bro. Oh, sh this is going up in a few hours. Oh, another quick tip. Most of this vlog was filmed today, Sunday, April 8th. You will see this April 9th. We've been really busy this week. Hence the no Thursday. I'm sorry. We're shooting that documentary. Shh, don't tell him about the documentary. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And then if everything else doesn't work, then sure, come on, bring it out. And I was like, well, speaking of coming out to look at it, mind if we come out there? He's like, oh yeah, sure. We got a bunch of scoots. If you're into scoots, yeah. He had a really nice, what was it, the Express SR. How are you doing today? Good. Yeah. Just got this one fired up. You're coming out all winter. That and amongst the other stuff. This is kind of a crossover between the moped and the scooter. It's a real pretty looking scooter. We've got two of them. There's one in there too. I took all the best stuff off and put it onto this one. This one's going to be going on the Craigslist pretty soon. Ooh wee! I mean, Turbo Cult can put some funds together. Have fun seeing that in some upcoming vlogs. We're talking like no stickers, no wheelies. Like that thing is pristine. So we go out to the dude's place. He's got. 20 plus scoots in his garage. It's amazing. It's heaven. Yeah, I got, I got stuff. Scoots everywhere. He's got this. He's got a motorcycle lift with his toolbox and like a separate heated place. Works on scoots all winter long. I want him to be my dad. It's so cool. It's also been, what he's been collecting slash riding scooters since he was 15. Mm -hmm. He's probably like 60 something. Been doing scoots for a while. He had a couple trail 90s. They're like really like it's like seat tank handlebars. Yeah. Those those are pretty cute. And then some like 110s. You had an Elite 110 in there, a newer one, a really newer one. Picked that up for a good price. He had some uh, CH80s, SA50s, SE50s, SB50s, NX50s. His grandson. Like, if you are into a Honda Scoot, he's got one out there. What was that blue one? Oh, that was the Honda Aero. I, have a, I actually haven't seen an Aero in person. They were really cool. It was like a kind of big spree. I did shoot around the idea because Wimble's plastics on his scooter are pretty nice condition. He kind of cares about like kind of restoring them. I might be trading Wimble's scoot off. I'm gonna take a look at the pet cock first. That doesn't fix. Actually, Brick Rigby's real quick scoot top tip. Wimble's Elite E. It's got a direct drive to a centrifugal clutch. My scoot is a variator to a centrifugal clutch, which means a variator handles like all your low end like gearing, and you can squeeze this and out so you can variate your low end power. But on Wimble Scoot, you can't do that. It only variates the higher end power, so it's really, really slow on takeoff. But I was racing from one end to the back parking lot to the other. Me, old, out of shape, bad knees, me and my feet, and Wimble on the scoot, I beat him. Because it's just the no low end there, because there's no variator variating low end. Which also means if we're driving around town, we have to like wait for him at every light and every stop. Yep. If we trade it for something a little so if we more trade heavy. A little more, well it's not it's the same motor and everything, but if you have that variator up front, you can put in lighter weights, get more snappy off the line. Variators better than the direct drive nonsense. I'd rather find something that's more moddable too. The Elite E has like practically no aftermarket. If I could trade it for something with a front variator, a lot more tuning possibilities. What are you hoping for? I mean, it, there's, there's a sea of like red and black scoots, and then there's just a pastel pink seated one in the middle. Plastics are kind of dumpy, but as far as like performance wise, that'd be way better. Yeah, so that's what we did today. Yeah, um, that's mine, that's a 110. I only made it for one year. Cute! Was it? That was my, that was my grandson's. <laughs> oh, I like this. Put vacuum on there, either with a mighty vac or else just suck on it. And gas yeah. should come pouring out of that top one. The petcock was bad on it. That thing, the guy got it to run without the carburetor. 
there was no way that carburetor was going to work. And the guy says, I'm going to start it before you leave. I thought, yeah, okay. And he kicked it and kicked it. And it started and it would run for like 15 seconds. And that carburetor was doing absolutely nothing. What he was doing is the pet cock was bad, so the gas was sucking down in through here and going into the crank. Oh. So it would fill the crank up with gas. Well, then it would turn it over and it would finally fire until the gas ran out and it would quit. That's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. We did. Thanks for watching the video guys, uh, if you want to see whatever YouTube thinks is the best video to watch, click here. If you want to see last week's episode and catch up, click here. Maybe give us a little subscribe, here-ish, probably around here. Subscribe, it really helps us out. Leave a comment down below too, that's really cool. Reread every single one of them, because there aren't that many. <laughs> Please send us more. Bye!